For 14 years, gambling destroyed Shonika Guy's life. I was just amazed that um, a machine could do that. She's taking on the pokey giants in a case that centres around the allegation that the machines are misleading and deliberately designed that way. Lawyers Maurice Blackburn allege on certain pokey models, including the Dolphin Treasure, winning symbols come up more often than the number of times a player can actually receive a payout. The effect is to create the impression that you nearly win or that you could win or that the odds are not as bad as they really are. The machine contains five reels of symbols, but on the fifth reel, the symbols are larger, meaning no matter how many jackpot symbols you get on the first four reels, the fifth reel weighs the odds in favour of the house. Something that we allege is deceptive and misleading has been allowed to continually entrap. Australians love to gamble. In one year alone, we spent around $12 billion on poker machines. And the social cost of gambling addiction is high, estimated to be around $4.7 billion each year, with addicts more likely to have alcohol problems, smoke and get divorced. Just bringing attention to this, people will think twice before they put $5 in and think it's all fun and games and a little bit of entertainment, when it's actually not. It's a trap. In a statement, Crown Casino said it would vigorously defend any claim. Jacqueline Felgate, 7 News.